like that? That's great, yes. I'd, I'd like to talk to you, actually, especially about your drum kit, because it's one of the most unusual drum kits that I've ever seen. And also the effects that you've got over there. I mean, there's a lot of it. Well, first of all, tell us about these tom-toms up here. I well, mean, these are octobands. Yeah. They're really long. Perhaps you'll recognize a famous theme from Grieg. Yes, that sort of thing, yeah. Now, if, you, if we could just look at this over here, because this is the thing that fascinates me. On stage, you use all this, and while you're recording, I presume you use it all. Well, I don't use it when I'm recording, because I don't really have to. These gadgets here, they have better ones actually in the studio. Mm -hmm. These are for going on the road. So what is, what is this, then? This is a time delay unit. And what does that do? It's an echo. It's a repeat echo. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot that was still going. See that echo? Have something familiar. Uh, the beginning of the beginning of Regatta de Blanc has got some echo on it. I'll play that. Sort of thing. Astonishing, isn't it? And what? <laughs> I mean, amazing. What about these blocks here? These are just wood blocks. They've been around for a long time. They're just wood blocks. And how about this here? This clap trap. What the clap trap is fake clapping. It uh, doesn't really work very well. This one's a bit faulty, but I'll see if it's working. You see, it's, there's a microphone on the drum, and yeah. the microphone picks up the sound and triggers this device here, which actually sounds like this. Or longer. But as I told you, it's broken. Uh -huh. And it uh, just makes the snare drum sound bigger for the fat backbeat, you know, when you're cruising along and you're playing. And sometimes you just want the backbeat to overtake yeah. everything. I have a running battle with Sting and his drumming machine. Uh, what do you think of drum machines generally? They're great. I use them all the time myself for writing songs and just for playing with because they make great sounds. But the feel that you get from three pieces working together and everything is very different. Sometimes we do record a track with the drum box and I'll overdub the drums on top of them rather than the other way around. The drummer is a person in the studio who has to work the hardest at first because you have to get it right. When you're doing, the drum, when you're doing a track, bass, guitar, drums, you play the song, you, we work the song out for about half an hour, mm -hmm. and then we immediately turn the tape on and play it. None of us have heard it before half an hour ago, but we start playing it. And usually we get it within two or three takes. But the drums are what we're stuck with, for the, I'm stuck with for the rest of my life. The guitars and the bass you can overdo and everything. Yeah. You redo those, you can get a better sound, you can make sure the tuning's right, even if you want to change the key of the song. Occasionally Sting will get to sing the song, and you say, wait a minute, it's all in the wrong key. So to keep the drum track and erase all the guitars, all the everything, and start from scratch again on top yeah. of the drums. What it means is that you have to get it right on those first few days of recording. All the pressure's on because you're stuck with it for a long time yeah. after that. I mean, obviously you like melodies, but are there Well, I'm that? struck by melodies and I really like melodies. In fact, I'm a frustrated guitar player. I wish I could play guitar. In fact, I do play lots of guitar on uh, piano and all these things. But the thing that comes most easily is drums. And it's also very uh, fun to play, I suppose. They, they just, the drums are really easy to play. I don't know if it's just because I find it that way, but they really are. They're a joke. Anyone can do this. Why is your drumming different from another drummer? Longer arms. I play with my feet. Um, I suppose it's because I've stolen all my licks from different sources. You see, all the licks, they all get passed back and forth, most of them. Mm -hmm. And um, the trick is to find new ones and turn them around a little bit, camouflage them a little bit, and express yourself with the same sticks and the same symbols and the same configuration of things to bash with new ways of doing it. And uh, my source of licks has been <clears throat> South America and, um, of course, the West Indies. And those are a really big difference. Because a lot of people say that, that it's very, it's white man's reggae or very well, reggae influenced. I mean, do you think that's... Let's examine this word reggae. Let's. Um, the main rock and roll stuff, which everything's based on, even since the jazz days, since they're going... And then they went, you know... And then uh, got funky. And all that stuff. The backbeat. Or it's always a backbeat, which goes on... Uh, one, two. That's right. One, two, three, four. That backbeat, which is on all the Beatles records, on all the Rolling Stones records, on all the 
Yeah, all the Motown records, all the jazz records, all the way up through the Billy Cobham records. And then they've all got the backbeat. On two and four. On two and four. And if you count that, two and four means one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Now, reggae turns the whole rhythm upside down. This drum set is designed by jazz drummers and stuff like that. It's been evolved that way to, to work that format. But over in Jamaica, they got it wrong or something. I don't know how they ended up. They turned the whole thing upside down and have in invented something really different. And it's the most different thing that's been invented since the drum set was invented, since the backbeat itself, which is the basis for all of the kind of music that everybody in America and England has been listening to. And the difference is, is that it lands in, it, they use the bass drum in a different place. It goes. Three. It's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. And the bass drum and the snare drum both land in the same place. I, I don't, have no idea how the, it's ever was arrived at. It's brilliant. It's an absolute, it's a paradigm for the cosmos.